Hi, I'm George Cow, and I want to tell you about my online course, Joyful Productivity. It's my favorite topic to teach out of all the classes that I create and teach. This one is my favorite one. And I think it's my favorite because if you truly embody the practices of bringing joy and calm focus and a simple organization into your everyday work, then everything else works a lot better. Your entire business will be built on a foundation of personal sustainability and the pattern will be long-term thrivability for your business. So this is why I say if you take one course from me, I recommend it to be joyful productivity. So let me walk you through some of the points that I'm gonna be covering in the course so that you have an idea of what it's about and whether or not you want to take it. I've got my notes here in front of me, so I'm just gonna be walking through what we're, we're gonna be covering in the six sessions of the Joyful Productivity course. So in the first session, we're going to cover beginning with the foundations of productivity because Joyful Productivity, again, it's about working with more efficiency, effectiveness, but most importantly, joy, calm focus and love. Now, joyful productivity is about productivity. So we cover the foundations of productivity first, which includes um, eating well, sleeping well, moving well, and frequently enough. We'll also talk about uh, the importance of light and connection. And one of the fun things about the course is that I will be tapping into the wisdom of our course participants. Of course, I have my own best practices to share and I will share those with you. But even more than mine, you're gonna get a list of the best practices of the course participants. If you happen to be joining the course live, you'll get to, partic you'll get to participate in that, uh, in that experience as well. Um, after we talk about that, we're gonna talk about the importance and the discipline of rest. Now, why is rest so high up on this, you know, on the list of joyful productivity because what one of the things that happens when we are building our business is that um, we're working for ourselves. And when we're working for ourselves, nobody's telling us when we start work and when we end work. Nobody says, well, you better take a lunch break or you better, you know, it's mandated that you take a certain number of breaks a day or however many minutes a day. You have to set that for yourself. And so most business owners, most solopreneurs, people who work for themselves don't take enough. And even most people who work in jobs don't take enough breaks. The small breaks as well as the vacations. A lot of people miss their vacations, don't take them. So we're going to talk about the discipline of rest. And I'm going to show you uh, the routine that I do multiple times every day between my work sessions, my break routine. And I'll actually demonstrate it for you and see if you want to borrow any part of my practices. And of course, once again, we're going to crowdsource the best ideas from the participants, uh, the live participants in the course so that you get more than just my best practices. You're going to get the best practices of others as well. And a lot of the people joining my course are, uh, you know, coaches and mentors and healers themselves so that they'll have great practices that I'm looking forward to, to having you exp uh, understand uh, at least get to see what they are um, we'll also talk in the first session about the importance of a daily review I do something to end my work day every day uh, that I work where by the end of that daily review I feel complete I feel like I can actually stop working for the day and I know a lot of you probably feel like you have to work all the time and that there's never an end to your work I actually experience this every day where I'm like at the end of my work day, I'm done. I'm like, oh, there's nothing more to do. There's nothing more to do. And, and believe it or not, I actually experience boredom oftentimes <laughs> in the evening or the weekends when I'm not working. And boredom is, has its benefits because out of boredom comes creativity and comes you know, true, the ability to truly rest when there's absolutely nothing. Everything is wiped clean on your, on your plate. So that's the experience I want to give you as well on a daily basis. So we'll talk about that. In session two, we're gonna start going into layering the 
uh, greater purpose of each of our lives into our moment by moment work. And when you embody this practice, it will change your entire day because you no longer are hyper focused, myopically focused, which most of us tend to be when we're working. Oh, I got to get this done. Oh, this better work. Instead, when we learn the idea, the principles and the embodiment of a greater purpose in our everyday working moments, everything has a different perspective. Everything has a much bigger perspective. And with a bigger perspective, we can bring, guess what, more play into our work. And that's how I really think about my work is it's, it's a joyful play. In the second session, we're also going to talk about, and I'm going to give you the experience of the power and importance of writing down the simplest steps. I know this sounds so simple, but most of us don't do it. Most of us keep so much of it in our heads without even realizing we're doing that. But what I do every day is to write down the specific steps for any working session where if it's not already obvious, I'm already you know, very accustomed to doing it, I write down the steps. Well, I'll talk about that. I'll give you an experience of, a short experience of that. And then um, I'm also gonna talk about the importance of documenting the processes in your business. I'll give you a template for doing that. And in the second session, we're also, uh, we'll end with, I'll, I'll end with giving you a process for how to approach any working session throughout your day. Besides working, well, you know, if you're in a meeting, that's, that's different. But when you're working on your own, which a lot of us do, especially those of us building a, a business, we have to do a lot of work solo, right? And I'm going to give you that process that I do, that I use for every working hour so that you can embody that joy and that playful experimentation uh, in your work. Now, in session three, we're going to get into organizing. I'm going to give you a system for organizing the information in your business. And this will include your computer bookmarks. This will include your to-do list. Uh, and this will also um, include your, your uh, overall, how do you capture ideas and put them into categories? So we'll talk about that in session three. Uh, in session four, we're gonna talk about creating consistency. If you don't have a consistent schedule to work in your business, it's not, uh, you're not giving yourself the best chance of having a successful business. Just like when you're in a job, your employer doesn't say, oh, don't worry about coming in anytime and you know, don't worry about deadlines, just, just do whatever you, whenever you want to, right? Almost no employer says that. Well, why is it that we have such an, not we, I, I have a very stable schedule, but so many people I see have so, so much inconsistency and instability in their schedule uh, and when and, and what they do in their business, no wonder it doesn't you know, sustain and thrive like most established companies do. Established companies have a very stable schedule. They know exactly when workers are coming in and doing what, et cetera. So we're gonna talk about how do we create consistency, joyful consistency, especially when we are the ones who have to set our own schedule. And in this session, I'm also going to show you my exact time template and I'm going to show you on the screen my exact calendar. You'll see what I actually do at what times uh, on my Google Calendar. Everything is laid out and you can ask me any questions about it. We'll also talk in uh, session four about boundaries because one of the reasons why a lot of you don't have a stable schedule for your business is because you have forgotten how to maintain good boundaries with other people's requests. And not just other people's requests, but even just like email, you think you have to pay attention and, and, and keep so many emails. It's, 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 a, it's an issue of boundaries and about integrity. It's related, okay? Session five, we're gonna go into talking about, very important, creative discomfort and self-doubt. When you are creating a business especially, uh, the possibilities are unlimited for what you could create and you don't know if it's going to work. So there is a, there's a lot of the feeling that you may not have 
labeled creative discomfort, but that's what I label it. And it's important to have a great relationship with creative discomfort, which I do every single day. For example, before I made this video, I'm like, is this video gonna turn out okay? I don't know. And you know, even outlining the video, et cetera, creative discomfort. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about self-doubt. When things don't go as well as you want, you put something out there and it doesn't get the kind of response that you, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with it? I'll talk about how I deal with it. And of course, like I said, it's a very participatory class. So you're also going to uh, see how many coaches, mentors, and healers deal with self-doubt. It's going to be powerful. Uh, session five, we're going to end with talking about outsourcing and automation. Actually, in, in this order, automation first and outsourcing. So I'm going to walk you through quickly the overview of all the tools I use in my business. There are not that many, but I wanted to make sure you knew about them. And then the tools that can't automate the things that should be automated, how do we then find good, um, good support? Uh, how do we outsource well? So that's part of session five as well. And finally, in session six, this is the first time I'm going to be doing this, and I'm excited uh, to share it with you, which is a digital decluttering session. That's session six is completely dedicated to that. So uh, you're going to actually experience, I'm going to give you the time to, to well, I'm going to share with you my principles of how do you declutter your email inbox to get to zero. I have a zero email inbox most days of the week, almost every day. Now, certain days, like on Mondays, I might let it flow to Tuesday, but certainly several times per week, my email inbox is at zero. No emails at all. Not no you know, archives I have worrying about, nothing, zero. What about you? There is a palpable difference in the feeling of lightness that you get when your email inbox is completely clear, when your to-do list for the day is completely empty and done, everything's done, and when your, e where your computer desktop is completely clear as well. My computer desktop is completely clear at the end of most of my days every week. Several times a week, my computer desktop is completely empty. How would that feel? How would it feel to have that? Well, I'm going to give you that experience in session six. So I'm excited to share the principles with you, share the system, and then have you experience it, and then have some back and forth uh, Q&A to make sure you know how to implement the system. So those are the six sessions of Georgia Productivity. If you happen to have taken the 2018 version of Joy for Productivity, the 2019 version is much better, much, much better. So I recommend the 2019 version. It's, it's uh, something that I've, I've already designed here and I'm, I'm, I'm quite proud of. So if you have any questions about the course, um, contact me, let me know. And I'm actually recording this video in a, in a live uh, Facebook video right now. So I wanna thank those who are joining me, uh, Tom and Tanya, Clara, Maria, Barbara, Yule, Linda, thank you so much for joining me for this live video and for those watching on YouTube. Uh, I know a lot of you on YouTube don't even realize I have online courses. I don't talk about it often enough, I think, in, in the videos. So uh, I hope you'll come to my Joyful Productivity course. Uh, the link is www.georgecow.com slash Joyful Pro Workshop. Joyful Pro stands for Joyful Productivity but I think also stands for being, being a joyful professional. Joyful Pro Workshop, georgecow.com slash joyful pro workshop. It's, it's not that expensive of a course right now as of this recording, it's only $60 for the course and you get a 60 day, 100% money back guarantee. Buy the course, completely go through it, go through all six sessions. If it's not the right fit for you, don't worry, just contact me, I'll give you another course or I'll give you your money back, it's no big deal at all for me. Um, but I think you're going to love it. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, gosh, you know, I missed the, the live part of the course. Can I still take it later uh, if I'm going to miss any sessions? Of course, everything's recorded. And the recordings are all sent out within two business days of when I record the course to everybody who bought it. So don't worry if you can't attend live. But if you've ever been part of my live courses, you know that the energy is, is, is wonderful uh, to be among so many like-hearted uh, smart people uh, with with great practices of their own. So if you can attend the live course, uh, when I say live, I mean it's virtual in real time online. Be sure to do it. If you can't, you're still going to get a lot out of the recorded version of the course. Uh, and let me know what you think of it. All right. So with that, I hope to see you in the course. And um, whether I see you in the course, I wish you 
joyful productivity in your work today. Be well.